the last billion years of geologic history of Tennessee. I wrote this book for the general public. Geologic history is just like any other history. You have to be able to read the language in which that history has been written. In modern geology, uh, the present is the key to the past. That's basically what it is, it's detective work. But that's what's fascinating about it, and I think a lot of people overlook that aspect of, of geology. It's not rocks, minerals, and fossils. Some people think that that's, when you study geology, that's what you're studying, fossils and rocks. Ah, that's not true. Everything is all interrelated. All the, the um, actions and processes that went into forming a rock in the past are the same processes that are taking place today. The Earth is a system unto itself, but it's made up of at least five subsystems. The geosphere, the biosphere, the atmosphere, the cryosphere, and hydrosphere. So you got ice, you got atmosphere, biosphere, you got all the organisms, and then you have hy hydrosphere. And they all, all these interact. There's more than one kind of evolution. There's biological, there's cosmic, uh, social, there's all types of evolution. Our landscape is evolving around us, and we're part of causing that evolution. We can do a lot in a matter of seconds with dynamite and a D9 bulldozer that may have required millennia of geologic time to produce the same results. So we have to be aware of that. I would hope that the reader of the book has a greater appreciation for the uh, rich geologic history that we have in our state of Tennessee. It's a very special history, I think. I mean, there's not many states that are elongate as Tennessee is, and therefore has the distinctly different geologic uh, provinces. In West Tennessee, you would see this and this and this. In Middle Tennessee, you would see this. And in East Tennessee, you would see this. What you see right out in front of you is, is a, a good um, outline of the history and some of the significant things that you would be able to recognize wherever you are, whether you're in East Tennessee, Middle Tennessee, or, or West Tennessee. All three, they're three distinct states. So there's enough 101 type geology stuff in there that gives the reader the, the information that then they can better understand with a minimum amount of technical jargon. There's a pretty good glossary and I've put in as many illustrations as possible. I hope that they get an appreciation of the interaction of the systems and how they operate and what those systems have produced in the last billion years. Everything we see about us is a product of those five systems over a little over a billion years of time.